Okay, all set. Oh, that's right, uh, Mayor Peter. Today is the day we celebrate Fruits of Labors. It's the Harvest Festival. Festival. There's going to be a great feast with lots of courses prepared by a real chef. You gotta stop by. Hello, everybody. Hyper Mario Sunshine here. Back with some more. Animal Crossing New Leaf. And, well, it's Thanksgiving for us, but in Animal Crossing, it's the Harvest Festival. And it has this nice music going on as well. Oh, well, uh, I guess Bella left, despite the fact that she... Wait, Bella's who again? Oh, she was the... Why can't this guy leave? Bella's the mouse that I really liked, actually. I really don't like pukes at all. And Amelia sent us his birthdays are complicated. I don't like getting older, of course. But somehow, I feel happy, especially this year. Maybe it's because you, you bought a... You bought a gift and such. Alright. Barber's Plexi. We're gonna sell these, I forgot. And she got stars of Feature Tank. Let's put that in there. And before we get started with anything, there's a lot of mushrooms, actually. Oh, we got some mushroom furniture. Which, uh, around this year, it's very, uh... Like, this is the peak time for mushrooms. So, this should be a lot. Yes, how is everyone going? Mario uh, RPG is going to be coming back tomorrow, so I hope you all enjoy it. I'm guessing the mushrooms are going to be used for this, like, the Thanksgiving feast, from what I'm thinking of. It's been forever since I last saw you, too, Peanut, because you weren't there the last time I was here. I didn't even see you all day. Anyways, let's head to the square. And you have, well, a character that we haven't met before. Franklin, hmm? You need something from me? Oh. You're the mayor, right? I'm the guy called Franklin. Your secretary hired me to come and cook for, for everyone. After all, the big hubbub today is going to be celebrating the Fall Bounty. Today is the Harvest Festival. But here's the thing. The, I'm a bit short on the ingredients. Just whip up a fish salad. We're celebrating the Harvest Festival here. It'll be nice to have some fresh local ingredients. Vinegar, horse mackerel, and red snapper. Finally, a secret ingredient. I guess the secret ingredient could be a mushroom. Well, I thought he would accept the in-secret ingredient, too, but I guess not. Well, I believe you have to do tasks for certain villagers in order to get the, uh, the proper things. I've never really done this before, actually. This might be my first time doing it. Today's a harvest festival. Right. So we're going to need sea bass. Wow, we have to get a lot of fish, actually, which is pretty uh, interesting. I don't know why the music kind of reminds me of Conker's Bad Fur Day, for some reason. It's pretty funny. Yeah, whoever's inside, I guess they're cooking up their own meals as well. So let's find the biggest fish here. That's likely the sea bass. Anyways, uh, my lip is actually kind of hurt, which is uh, probably why I'm not talking that much. Got like a cut underneath it from eating uh, Thanksgiving. Like uh, leftovers. Which is a pain, because I don't like having like cuts inside like my my mouth because it's just like painful and it's like very unenjoyable whenever you're like speaking and like when your canine teeth are touching it uh this is definitely not a sea bass but it could be one of the other hello i have a silver rod why are you going past it it's supposed to be one of the rods that you're supposed to go after easier 
Or we have flounder. Actually, we could, we'll keep that for now. We'll, we'll yeah, that, yeah, it's a flounder. Yeah, it's very annoying, and I do not like it at all. Or else, probably just another flounder. Which, funny enough, I have actually a very uh, interesting story about one time I actually went fish fishing. So, when I was younger, I thought that, uh, like, you know, uh, whoever caught, like, you know, the like the biggest fish there won. And I caught a bass. Well, everybody, but it was a flounder tournament, not a bass tournament. So, I probably would have won because I was the only one who caught a bass all day. And, uh, unfortunately, I do not eat fish, so I was, like, very sad because I felt bad for the bass that I caught. And, uh, it was just, it was just disappointing. I felt really bad for the bass. Oh, hi, Tia. All right, let's see what you got. Here, we got a sea bass for, uh... Is Amelia home, actually? Let's see what she wants. If she wants a flounder, I got her, uh, what she needs, then. Yeah, that was, like, the whole story behind it. I just felt really bad at the end. A dab? I don't have a dab. I have a flounder. I mean, that would kind of work since they're very similar. Yeah, like, that was the story. I was, like, really sad. But I probably would have won because, like, apparently there was, like, a prize money, so... Like, I was the only one who caught a bass that entire day. Anyways, yeah, that, that story was kind of like, you know, I just felt bad for myself now that I thought about it again. I was like, wow, I, I wish we entered into a bass tournament rather than the flounder one. I was, like, the only one out of, like, my father and, like, other people that went along with us. Alright, there we go. Here you go, a sea bass. You have a lemon in return. Okay, we actually never had a lemon this time, from what I recall. Alright. But, unfortunately, that's not what we needed. We needed vinegar. And she gave us a lemon. But there is other people we could go to and ask for what they want. Oh my, my goddamn lip. Holy shit. <laughs> let's see. Oh, there's a... Everybody here. Alright, let's see who... I believe this is... Hmm, I forgot who it was. I lived here. I think it's, uh... Oh, it's Pierce. A touch of seat. I just had one. It'll be weird, like, what if, like, a, one of the villagers had, like, a sea bass in their house? Like, what if I they asked for, like, oh, catch me a fish, and I gave them a sea bass, and they're like, oh, find me a sea bass. That would be, uh, quite ironic. Not, I'm not sure if it be, would be ironic, but it'd be pretty funny, because, like, it's just, like, right there. Anyways, leave. Sea basses are very common, so they can't be that hard to find. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving dinners, and if you want to let me know what you had, post in the comments section below. I'm going to mention this quite a bit in a few videos, but there's going to be another Hyperfest, which uh, last year, which celebrated the release of Ultimate, uh, I had a huge stream uh, where we played Ultimate with my friends, and this year we're going to do it again. Oh, this might be a red snapper. Or horse mackerel. Yeah, I'm also really excited for the new Animal Crossing, which is going to be out in, like, four months. Like, less than four months, which is pretty crazy. Uh, due to the fact that, you know, we're going to be playing it pretty soon. Oh, this is a dab. Alright, so it's, like, a bit smaller, its shadow, compared to the olive flounder. I still do need the, uh... The red snapper and the other sea bass, so I could uh, give them away. Because we do need to give the dab to Amelia. 
Yeah, it's very, because I thought this episode we would be doing, uh, the, uh, puzzle, not the puzzle league, the, uh, other one, which is the island adventure, like the desert island one. It is very interesting how, uh, oh, wow, we scared that one away. It's very interesting how, uh, the desert island escape is actually, actually hinted out Animal Crossing New Leaf. I, I never seen anyone point it out, I just, like, thought of it right now, and I was like, wow, we act, that actually did happen. So it's very interesting how New Horizons, uh, actually, I meant New Horizons there, uh, but yeah, New Horizons was, uh, li like, literally, like, teased at us because of the deserted island thing, and it has, like, all these, like, different things, like, the rocks and, like, building tents and, like, you know, resting for the night. So yeah, it was, it pretty much did pretty much tease us the idea of New Horizons. Except, you know, like, without this whole survival and you have to escape the island after a certain amount of days. Ooh, uh, let's drop the mushroom for now. Yeah, uh, let's just eat one of the mushrooms, actually. I do want to sell the elegant mushroom, though, because it's worth a lot of money. But there's a mushroom I do want to eat, though, as well, because that mushroom's actually worth quite a bit. Uh, Pierce's house should be right here, and we accidentally destroyed one of our flowers, but it doesn't matter, because they're just going to regrow like crazy. But yeah, we're also one month away till the new year and Christmas, so we're going to be doing those events too. And uh, we're going to end off Animal Crossing uh, uh, like uh, 20 minutes, not 20 minutes, 20 days before, uh, before uh, New Horizons comes out. Not New 20. Oh yeah, we got the vinegar finally. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're going to be beginning, uh, finding, well, actually, we're going to, I think New Year's might be the final episode, I'm not sure. We need somewhere to end off for Animal Crossing New Leaf, which is very sad, honestly, like, I wonder if we'll be able to carry over, like, our, our like, data or something, or bring three towns members from here. I wonder if the special town members would be, uh, like, CC and Vici would also join us. Like, if we were to put the Calimari Amiibos, like, would they be the Amiibo? Thing once more, who knows? Oh, well, we accidentally uh, skipped Amelia there for a second. All right, let's give him the vinegar. What? But I gave you the vinegar. But you're, I thought you were only going to take one. Like, if you said some of the ingredients, then yeah. Well, that's kind of dumb. Anyways, I'm not sure what we do get for getting him all the ingredients, though, which is uh, something I haven't really thought of yet. Well, yeah, let's go give the uh, dab to Amelia, see what she gives us in return. Hopefully, something we could use, like the horse mackerel or red snapper. Well, that's an all flounder. This is the dab. Yeah, they just face the opposite direction. They're like slightly different shades of brown. A flat mushroom, okay. Well, I can't really cook either, uh, Neely. I'm not even sure how to even cook for an Animal Crossing. I'm not sure if there's like a way. I don't know. I hope they add that, like, you know, making more than just, like, having fruits to eat. Like, you, know, you could actually make your own meals. So it gives you that, like, nice, uh, survival on the island kind of thing. Like, because a lot of Nintendo games have been expanding on, like, big ideas lately. That, uh, like, the, these what-if ideas, like, would be cool. Like, this, like what would an, old, an open world Zelda be like? What if Mario went back to doing his usual overworld, 3D, uh, with a huge overworlds kind of stuff? So, it's very interesting what Nintendo's been doing lately with, like, all their stuff. And, like, you know, Fire Emblem Three Houses is another good example. So maybe they'll, like, you know, see and open the idea of expanding and, like, you know, making their games better. Okay, hopefully this is a red snapper. 
Or bear. Oh, wow. All right, we'll keep this. Yeah, I guess it's just like a nice big fishing episode at the end. We'll keep the flat mushroom for now. Not sure who else is cooking. Not sure who else even needs stuff, actually, which is... Uh, let's see what this one is. Don't let it be another bear knife draw. Okay, we got a, another olive flounder. Oh, it's a dab, actually. Interesting. Uh, let's release the olive flounder, then. You can't really tell the difference with, like, their shadows and whatnot. Okay, that's a big fish. That's a lot bigger than a sea bass, so... Let's see what size this guy is. Yeah, it's much bigger. Alright, yeah, this is definitely a new fish. Ooh! It's a tuna. Alright, we're not gonna... We're definitely gonna be keeping this and bring it to the museum. So yeah, I never actually caught a tuna before, so that's uh, pretty neat. I guess because I usually, you know, fish for the summer uh, fish most of the time. So I don't know who else would be needing ingredients, so we're going to go check on the uh, right side of town. See, though, know, who needs what. And yes, there are people that have their houses open. Wait, here we have Blue Bear. Dace? Uh, we do not have that. Sadly. And let's see the other two houses here. Yeah, I think we're going to end off the episode. We're going to continue off with a part two in the uh, after we're done checking one of these last two houses. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they are having much people. But yeah, so we'll co just continue in the next episode. So love my videos with that like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. We're going to be continuing with the Harvest Festival soon. See you guys then. Peace.